Stephanie Shea, Chief Astrologer for JanSpiller.com with your monthly horoscope. And this one's for you, Sagittarius. I've got some good news. As the month begins, Mercury, the Sun, and Venus will be in the fiery sign of Aries. That's lending a lot of support to Sagittarius, Sun, and rising people, fellow fire signs, and this month's new moon is going to be extra motivating. I'll tell you all about that in a minute. But for the month of April, you can use the momentum available to put some of your big picture dreams into action. Now we've got Mercury in the sign of Aries from April 3rd to the 18th. This is going to offer you more confidence for creative expression and making romantic connections. Mercury will move into Taurus on April the 19th, helping you to solidify business agreements and work-related projects. The second part of April is gonna be a really good time to initiate healthy routines and commit to your overall well-being. You can definitely use this astrology to take charge of your schedule and make a sustainable plan of action for yourself. It's such a productive astrology. Now this month's new moon is the most powerful new moon of the year for manifestation. And the reason is that it's an Aries new moon. It's initiating the entire lunar cycle for 2021. Many of you are Jan Spiller fans, <laughs> I would think, on this site and may have her book New Moon Astrology where she talks all about the Aries New Moon and I recommend this book to everyone. She gives some really good rituals for this particular New Moon to get the most out of it. What's extra exciting about this Aries New Moon is that no planets are in retrograde so there's really nothing stopping us from initiating what we want. We have full astrological support. The new moon will be April the 11th, and it's at 22 degrees of Aries. Now, if you were born on or around December 14th of any year, or you might have 22 Sagittarius rising, if you're a Sagittarius rising person, this new moon is going to offer you the greatest amount of inspiration and motivation. But really, all Sagittarius people can use this new moon to get started on a big picture vision. And it's really helpful for initiating habits that are actually going to stick. <laughs> now, Venus will be in Aries through April the 13th. This can help you cultivate more excitement and romance in your life. The first part of the month is a really good time to rekindle the sparks in an existing relationship. Or if you're single, you may enjoy some attention from someone new. It's kind of a flirty time. <laughs> On the 14th, Venus will move into Taurus, where it will remain until May the 7th. So the second part of the month is especially strong for business deals or anything to do with your work life. You might be in line for a raise or other reward for a job well done. Now we've got the sun moving into Taurus April 19th and this lights up the part of your chart that has to do with daily routines as well as physical wellness. Tune into your body. You might determine some self-care is in order. This Taurus sun really supports your efforts to strengthen your body and create a sustainable schedule for yourself. It goes hand in hand with that Mercury in Taurus energy I was describing where you can actually get out the calendar, do some practical planning for yourself. Now Mars is going to move into Cancer April 23rd and remain in this sign until June the 10th. Your intimate relationships, including those with family members, are going to be a focus. So it might be time to address issues that have been brewing beneath the surface. Mars tends to be a stirring stick sometimes, but it's usually for the purpose of addressing things that need your attention. <laughs> um, I also want to give a heads up. Mercury retrograde is out there on the horizon the dates are May 29th to June 22nd. 
That's why it's really important to try to get the ball rolling in April, maybe even into early May before this Mercury retrograde so that you can build on what you've started, especially if you're trying to get something going that has to do with any tricky partnership or family dynamics. Um, that's kind of what's going on with Mars and Cancer. And if you can get ahead of that, uh, you might find that you're enjoying the Mercury retrograde time a little more because you've already faced some of the things that you needed to. Now, the full moon this month will be April 26 at 7 degrees of Scorpio. This is illuminating your subconscious mind. It's a really good full moon for contemplation, meditation, and receiving spiritual guidance. I would even consider planning a full moon ritual that helps you to tune in to your divine and inner wisdom. It, it's that kind of a full moon. It's a lot more introverted, um, spiritual quiet than other full moons that might make you want to go out and be social so that's how you can work with that and i hope you can take advantage of april's super powerful astrology be safe and be well and i will see you here soon with your monthly horoscope and other astrological forecasts